Well, hello, hello, all my amazingly beautiful Leo friends. My name is Libra Empress, and we're going to be discussing your tarot for today. Now, remember that this is a general reading, and this is for yours as well as for my entertainment. And also, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. That way, you'll always be up to date with the content that I produce, and you'll be a part of our family, all right? So we're trying a new layout. We're going to do an eight-card layout in the shape of a heart. Now... After I'm done laying these out, we're going to discuss. We're going to discuss the story behind this. Then we're going to get into it. Okay. Now, this is how it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Now, this card. Okay, wait, before we get to that, here's the story. If you're nursing the pain of a broken heart, take comfort in knowing that things could be worse. At least you'll still have a heart. Use this spread to gouge your chances of restoring a troubled relationship, all right? All right, let's do this. Now, this card represents the central issue of your relationship. So, there's a lot of romance, adventure, and um, moodiness. Dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This is my player card in my deck. In a normal deck, he's like the knight in shining armor. This card represents how you see the other person. You see him as um, transitioning, You're st as starting a new beginning, right? The end of the old, some the beginning of something new. That or you just want him dead, I don't know. <laughs> Number three is, this card represents how they see you. They see you as, um, the fact that you're challenging and competing and you're persistent. You know, you're fighting off people. You're not going to give up your shit for nothing. Now, this card represents unknown influences on your relationship. Okay, so money. You know, someone who's distance hardworking in a business. I mean, someone who's good with their words but not so... Or good with their money, not so good with their words. One, two, three, four. Okay. This card represents where you want the relationship to go. Apparently, to bed. <laughs> you, there are some deceptions and secrets, and you need to look within your intuition. Ask your guardian angels, your ancestors, the divine God, whatever, right? Ask them. This card represents who can help your relationship. A Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. So if you're in a relationship with any of those, they can help you. It's all about working together and communication, okay? This card represents the challenges in your relationship. So, you've got decisions to make and it's telling you to, you know, be empathetic, diplomatic, and um, generous. Yeah. Now, this card represents the outcome of your relationship. The outcome is that it's a fucking mystery, right? Secrets. But the outcome is you need to look within yourself otherwise shit isn't going to happen the way you want it to you can't force somebody like you can't force somebody to do what you want it's just like you can take a horse to water but it's up to them whether they want to drink or not all right you can't force them to drink i mean you probably could that's animal cruelty and we're not so don't okay let them learn on their own now, I hope you like this. My name is Libra Empress. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. And join me again for next time's tarot, all right? Love you. Bye, my beautiful Cancers.